The burn that we conducted here was a dormant season burn. Since our duff layer was so thick, it was over three inches at the time of litter and duff, a uh, mixture between pine needles and dead leaves on the ground. And so we were really doing this burn as a hazard reduction burn, trying to get that duff and litter layer down to uh, less than 40% of its original depth. So what we did uh, in order to make sure that the fire didn't go through here too hot was to make sure that we did a dormant season burn, which means that the leaves had not yet uh, budded out and the fire didn't get too hot. We made sure that the temperatures uh, didn't exceed 60 degrees that day. So this was about four months ago and the temperatures were, were a little bit cooler and the fire didn't come through here quite as hot as it may have with say a wildfire or a growing season fire. Had a wildfire come through here, we have uh, fire breaks along the outside of this burn unit. This particular burn unit is about nine acres wide, uh, nine acres big, so we, the fire line goes around the perimeter of the entire burn unit to ensure that our fire didn't escape from within these lines. Um, the day of the actual burn, we looked at the site conditions and we looked at our burn plan and we made sure that all of our weather conditions and our site conditions were exactly within our burn prescription. The weather conditions that we were looking for that day were approximately 40 to 65 degrees and uh, winds between five to 10 miles per hour. Our site conditions, the first day that we tried to do a burn actually did not fit those conditions. And so we ended up having to that morning even cancel the burn entirely. And we waited for uh, about a week later until our burn was within our, our prescriptions that we had put on our burn plan. So we, I believe we had winds of about eight miles per hour and a temperature of about 60 degrees. We were also looking at our smoke sensitive areas. We had two major highways to our south and southeast of this site that we wanted to avoid. So we wanted to make sure that our winds were blowing to the north and northwest. And so the day of the actual burn, the, all of our conditions between the weather, uh, between the wind, the humidity and the temperature were all within our prescription that day.